A lot of women would tell men, oh, I'm celibate. When for the right man, she would bust that coochie open. But for the wrong man, yeah, I can big up the whole I'm celibate card. Just like I call bullshit when women say, I ain't going on no coffee date. But for the right man, you would. Because he don't know you like that and you genuinely want to be in his space. So you'll go on that coffee date, that ice cream, that pizza date. But for that man that you don't really respect or find attractive or don't really see value in him. Oh, well, you need to be taking me to five-star dinner dates and tomahawk dinner dates and blase blase and uh, helicopter rides on the first day when you don't know me from a can of paint. See, that man got to go all around the world and ay 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 just to get a smell of that pussy. All right, let's break this down. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's break this down. So, what she's really saying. Oh, I'm celibate. When for the right. First of all, when a woman tells you she's celibate, we know that's not the truth. Right? That means she's not into you. She's not into you at all. So, what she wants to do is use you for your time and resources. So, when she tries to use that. You let her know, like, hey, okay, well, then, hey, you have a great life. I'm not into that. Because you need, you need, look, man, look, man, stop being used for your value, right? Get some game to you. Because when you're the guy, when you're that guy, then all this other stuff does not matter. All what they try to say, oh, I don't do this. I don't do that on the first time. I don't do this. No, when you're the guy, they do all of it. And they do it nasty as fuck. Listen up. Man, she will bust that coochie open. Mm -hmm. But for the wrong man, yeah, I can big up the whole I'm celibate card. Mm -hmm. Just like I call bullshit when women say I ain't going on no coffee date. But for the look here, if a woman says she's not going on a coffee date, make sure that's what you do, though. Like I, I don't, I don't really go on coffee. Today. That's not my thing. I drink coffee every now and then. I don't really go to coffee. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a little swaggy, man. I like, I like ambiance, man. I go places when the ambiance is fresh. That's just me, though. If you go to a coffee date, that's cool. But what I'm saying is, for me, like I, my whole environment is swaggy. So for me, I'm not out here. I'm not out here going to coffee dates now. Hey. What if it's nighttime, city life, we can take a nice stroll. You know what I mean? We can definitely take a nice stroll over here and uh, you know, chop it up a little bit. If this is something I want to do, right? If I want to go to a steakhouse or something, I mean I'm swaggy. Never bring a woman somewhere you never been. But she is absolutely right. A woman will go anywhere with you if she's into you. She's telling you that. I, we've been saying that forever. I know I have. When a woman knows you're the guy, she will fall over backwards to be with you for five minutes. Trust me. Right, man, you would because he don't know you like that and you genuinely want to be in his space. So you'll go on that coffee date, that ice cream, that pizza date. But for that man that you don't really respect or find attractive or don't really see value in him. Oh, well, you need to be taking me to five star dinner dates and tomahawk. Well, this is what it means. Like women do this to men that are weak. And you're weak when you don't have no game. You are weak when you when you don't understand your own worth. And you are weak when you can't when you can't identify this. And even the weakest men are the ones who can identify it and won't do nothing about it. How you allow this woman to do something to you? How you allow it? And we got men, we got men on the internet complaining about women about what what a man allows them to do. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We we gotta we we must do better, man. And I tell you, we gotta do better. Blase and uh, helicopter rides on the first day when you don't know. I wish I would bring a bitch on the helicopter ride. I've been on the helicopter twice in my life. I wish I would bring a bitch on a helicopter ride for a fucking uh, 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 hookup. And, and if you just trying to smash, don't bring these bitches out. Y'all, man, I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all men got to really understand the game. Hey, this is Mission 1950. This is the first time in here. Go ahead and push the like button. Everybody push the like button for me. Please help style the rhythm. My name is Mission 1950. I'm the last traditional man on the planet. We coming. 
We coming. 50 is here. Silverback Lifestyle. We out. Peace.